Julie. How are you tonight? Um, I'm kind of exhausted, so I'm not gonna do this for very long, but um, trying to keep a consistent schedule. Um, okay, I'm gonna see if this guy, we're looking at a new uh, script, new indicator, as you can see on the screen. So I'm gonna see if this guy will come in here and help me figure out how to learn this thing. Um, let's see if we can get it in here. Hang on just a sec. Waiting for you. I'm not ignoring you guys. Just waiting for you guys to get in here. Hi, R doll. How are you tonight? What's up? Um, do you have any coins you want me to chart? Sorry, I'm not ignoring you. I'm just trying to get people to get in here. Get in here, guys. So I'm posting some links. I wish there was a way I could automate this, but it's like, I'm sure there are, but like anything I would do would be like, obnoxious. As obnoxious as this royalty-free music, frankly. Um, God, this royalty-free music problem is like, bane of my existence. You're just chilling. Are you looking at like crypto streams or just like IRL section? In which case, um, are you new to crypto? Okay, so this is like a new set of indicators I'm looking at right here, and I don't, I'm not, um, hey Razgrass, good to see you here. Yeah, I was just about to say, this, this royalty-free music is not working out. <laughs> um, let's see if we can find something else to listen to. Because I keep, um, I keep having a problem with copyright strikes with all the royalty, hey David, good to see you here. Hey, David, look, I installed the scripts you sent me to. Razgrez, it's not, um, playing on my speakers because Mac doesn't, um, it doesn't allow you to, like, uh, put music through your, through your OBS. It's a long story. I spent literally weeks trying to, like, fix the problem, but, like, long story longer, um, I, I can't get it to work on Mac. It just, it just won't, it, it won't do it. It won't work. I'm drinking Pellegrino. Um, okay, so David, can you teach me how to use this indicator? I was actually just going to um, text, I was going to DM this other guy who was helping me from Crypto Traders TV and see if he could get in here to help me. Let me just send him a, a DM too and see if this hard, hardest scout guy. Um, let's see if he could help me. What happened to Bitcoin today? Wrecked? I predicted a Panther last night. If you were watching my stream, you would know that it was going down. But don't worry, it's going to go back up. I called last night that it was going to go down on the daily and go back up on the three days. So it, it just did what I said it was going to do. Um, this RD doll uh, seems to have a weird fetish, guys. Um, have you heard of a burping fetish? Let me just ask him if he'll jump on my stream to teach me this indicator. Or David, could you teach it to me? Okay, let me just give him the link. Uh I think he'll be better at it. I've only just started using it, but it's worked out quite well for me. So I'll, I'll show you guys what I think. Um, and actually, I'll show you guys this thing that, like an image that they provided uh, to help like interpret it. Let me see if I can find the image. And maybe you guys can help me figure it out. Where is the image? Oh, here we go. Okay. Okay. So can you guys take a look at this image and like see if you can make more sense of it than I am making sense of? Because, um, I'm no genius. I'll admit it. Um, 
Okay, let's enlarge this. Let's see. Can you guys see this? How do I how do I zoom? Uh well I, I feel like this I pulled this from the slides. This is one of the slides, right, David? Uh view. Zoom in. There we go. Okay, so you guys can see this, right? So like when this says stage one identify trend, use fifty CCI and booter to find trend, what the fuck does that mean? Um yeah, David, I think I'm looking at, David, I, I'm looking at the slides that you're talking about, I think. Oh, hey, hey, Candy Treasure, good to see you here. David, I think we're looking at the same slides. I know. So I just took the most, like, useful slide, basically. Um... But like when it says use 50 CCI and booter to find tread, what the fuck? Like I was I was playing around with this and like where do I like do I put like before I change this to 50 it was 14. Like should this be 14 or 50? Like I'm so confused. Can you help me with this? Like what is CCI? I have no idea what CCI even is. Oh, Hard to Scout says he's going to jump on here. Okay, so I think he's going to help out. So the booter will indicate or work. I mean, I get that it's going to indicate bearish or bullish. I'm not like a complete idiot. Um, but what is the CCI thing? What does CCI mean? It looks like Hard to Scout's going to come over here and explain this thing. And does anyone know what, like, CCI means? And by the way, guys, do you like, um, oh, CCI, oh, hey, Heart of Scout, thanks. So, um, first of all, okay, so CCI is like RSI. CCI is a versatile momentum oscillator that can be used to identify overbought, oversold levels or trend reversals. The indicator becomes overbought or oversold when it reaches a relative extreme. Thanks, David. Is it, is am I saying your name right, David? Um, so first of all, Hardest Scout, did I install this correctly? Like, does this all look right? So Hardest Scout is from the um, Crypto Traders TV community, and he helped me install the um, these indicators, um, which we're going to learn how to use now. So like, Hardest Scout, I was looking at this slide. Um, and I mean, I feel like I basically get it. Like, I get that, like, uh, this is bearish, and then the, like, darker blue is bull- I mean, this is bullish, and the darker blue is bearish. Um, but, like, I don't understand, like, when it says use 50 CCI and booter to find trend, like, what does this 50 CCI mean? Is that, like, down here? Like, I- that's where I got in the weeds. Like, and then when it says, like, use 14 CCI, and then I started to get confused, because I was like- does that mean, like, enter these values, like, here? Like, I just started to get, like, all confused. Um, Booter helps you confirm and find si signals. The best is the squid. 50 CCI is the thicker line. 14 is the thinner one in the bottom indicator. Okay, so that makes more sense. It's got uh, TTM in there, the proper, and loose. Okay. Okay, so we're already getting somewhere. So, let me just read back what you just said. Um, 50 is the thicker line, 14 is the thinner one on the bottom. Okay, so these are almost like, uh, kind of like the MACD or something like that, where you, you're kind of watching for them to cross. Is that is that right? So I should ignore these inputs on the, over here on the, Okay, note every time they cross. So I shouldn't mess with these inputs at all then, huh? Yes, you'll see the pattern. Okay. Yeah, I wouldn't adjust. Okay. That's where I was getting confused, because I was like, you know, where should they be 14, or where should they be 50? I, I just was like, what the fuck? So basically, we're looking like here, 
unless you were comfortable using other values. No, I don't need to adjust them. I was wondering like where this like 14 thing was coming from, where the 50 thing was coming from. That's where I was getting all messed up. Yeah, 14 CCI will cross zero first. It's a lag. Uh, then 50 CCI will then follow. When it crosses zero, you should prepare to enter the trade because it is turning bullish bearish. Okay, so let's repeat that. 14 CCI will, so the thinner line will cross the zero, uh, and the zero is basically the middle, the midline. 14 CCI will cross zero first, it's a lag, then 50 CCI will then follow. When it crosses zero, you should prepare to enter the trade because it is turning bullish bearish. Okay. Now I think I gotcha. So like, this would have been um, a short entry here, is that right? Or like, should we have known to enter the short before this point here? Forgive me for being slow on the uptake. Oh yeah, and big shout out to Blank Space. I don't know Blank Space, but um, I can already tell this is awesome. And so I'm really excited that you guys introduced me to this. Um, and also, like, I'll, I'll auto host um, Crypto Trader TV. Like, now that you explained to me, like, you know, what the schism was and everything that I was kind of confused about, like, I'll totally support you guys. Um, okay, so... I just want to make sure I'm sort of, so like I was looking at this cross point right here where like it looks like it crossed the midline and it, and it cr and the, the 14 and the 50 crossed here. So would this be a short entry right here or am I getting confused? Like would this have been like a long entry and this would be a short entry here? Like would this be a long and then this be a short right here? Sorry if you can't see my um, what I'm circling. Like with this, I'm not even looking at, at, I'm not looking at the price at all. I'm just looking at the bottom indicator. But like, would that have been a long entry here? And then this would be a short here? Oh, I might have to go to the four hour. Okay, got it. Sorry, yeah, I'm on the daily. Okay, so here, maybe it would be like, this would be the long entry here, and then this would be the short right here. Is that the general idea? Okay, so David says it, 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 it gets too noisy on the 15. I mean, I generally don't go below like the four hour, so. Um, By the way, tell me, guys, if you want this, like, chat, the way it's appearing on the screen to be, um, adjusted. I'm constantly trying to figure out, like, how can I move this around so it, like, looks better and everything. I know you're, you're getting annoyed with this, but I'm just trying my best here. Um, time frame determines your trading style, swing, scalp, long term, etc. Um, okay, then, I mean, yeah, that's obvious, Chingus. Then look past and note the yellow dots, how they signal a drop. Basically, I'm, I'm, they're teaching me this new set of indicators here that I've never used before, Chingus. Uh, how they signal a drop. Oh, the yellow dot signal a drop. I'm still getting used to this as well, lol. Blank's mind works well for him. I'm trying to catch up. So the yellow dots signal a drop, and then the yellow dots on the bottom signal, like, you know, ready to go up again. Can you move the chat over to dark color on your screen? Yeah, I can do that. Let's see. Hang on a sec. So like... Is that better for you? How about that? Okay. Um, okay, so, so basically the yellow dots, like, give us our entries. 
Yeah, Hardest Core, thank you so much for coming by and for helping me with this. That's so great. And and now I owe you guys and your community one. So um, I'll definitely, like, help out by, like, um, you know, shouting you guys out and by, like, raiding and, um, and auto-hosting and, and everything. Oh, your eight-month-old is calling. Um, I really appreciate it. But one last question. So these yellow dots are sort of like, oh, here's your long entry and here's your short entry. Is that... Is that craziness, or is that kind of basically the gist of it? I mean, go take care of your baby. What am I saying? You're, I'm crazy. Um, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Um, okay, so these are like signals. Okay, go take care of your baby. St I'm going to stop. Um, David is saying the color indicates the level of extremities, yellow, orange, red. When you see red, it is extreme, so you should either get out or get in. Um, thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, I'll, I'll see you around Twitch. <laughs> How about that? Thanks, bye, <laughs> good night. Um, okay, so like yellow is sort of like, you know, maybe entry or exit. Uh, orange is sort of like, yeah, you should think about getting in and out. And then red is sort of like, dude, hurry up, get in and out, in and out, in and out, okay. Why do I sound like I'm like narrating a poem right now? Um, <laughs> sorry guys, sorry that I made this like, uh, X-rated. Sorry, I just violated the terms of service. Wait, Chingus, do you know how to use this indicator? Why am I, like, the last one to get this, like, crazy cool indicator? Um, I feel like I'm, uh, I don't know, I'm last to the ball game. Okay, so now that we're, we're gonna play with it, let's look at, like, Bitcoin, ETH, and try to see if I can, like, read... Let's like, let's like take this thing out for a spin and see if I can like make some predictions based on the like cool new tool. Um, and you guys like, you know, you're more advanced on the indicators than, than I am. So like, you feel free to like tell me if I'm wrong or something. Um, okay, so it's called Awesome Squid and it's called, um, it's like, it's called like roost, a oh, re-roostered booter. And um, it's made by somebody named like Blanks. What's his name? Blank Space. Um, but it's it's in it's pinned in the general section of Crypto Traders TV of, of their Discord. So um, where? How can I link this? Could somebody link Crypto Traders TV's Discord? Um, oh wait, I should link it because just to be like friendly to the community. Hang on, let me link their Discord. Hang on. Okay, let me put this in the chat. Um, so anyway, so again, it's it's pinned in the general section of of their of their Discord. Okay. Um, okay, so let's make some calls using this funky new tool. Yeah, I'll put on, after I finish streaming, I'll put it on um, Twitter and I'll put it in my Discord, which you can find my Twitter and my Discord um, down below. If you're watching this on Twitch, you can find it down below uh, my Twitch page. So based on this, I think, um, well, this is the four hours, let's look at the daily. Well, I think we're going up on the four hour, definitely. And again, you guys tell me if I'm wrong, because you have more experience. David says, how... How I would use this indicator is if I see it go 100, minus 100, plus 100, I get ready to get in as it is oversold, overbought, oversold, overbought. I then wait for color indications and watch when the CCI is 50 to 400 start to curl. When it does, it is beginning to change momentum or directions. Okay, I'm going to read what you just said again. How I would use this indicator is if I see it go negative 100 or positive 100, I get ready to get in as it is oversold, overbought. I then wait for color indications and watch when the CCI is 50 to 400 
uh, when the CCI is 5400 start to curl. When it does, it is beginning to change momentum or direction. Okay, that's the kind of thing where like, I think I'm gonna have to kind of like play with it and get like, sort of get it in my head. Cause that's like, it's a little abstract for me. But um, the problem is I don't really use the one hour. Well, let's look at the one hour since you said it's good on the one hour. I don't like trading low time frames. Because I feel like, well, for one thing, because I, I have like a, you know, I, have a, I don't want to say like a real job, but like, you know, I have a career, like, um, oh, you mean one hour plus. Yeah, like, I, I would never go like below one hour. Um, okay, so you're saying if I use it on the four hour, that's okay. Um, I just mean that I can't be like chart watching all day because I've got like a lot to do, you know, like, it's hard to be like creative all day and then be like trading. It's just like, I, I, you know. I, I would say it's mentally punishing. That's a good way to put it. Um, it's it's psychologically eviscerating. Um, that's another way to put it. How, however, how else how else can we describe like the lifestyle of being a screenwriter and a trader? Um, it's incredibly, uh, yeah, emotionally punishing. That's 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 the way that I would describe it. Um, Okay, so let's let's make some calls. Let's take this thing out for a spin. So I think it's pretty clear this is going up on the four hour. I am going to call. Uh, I'm going to call sixty five hundred even on the four hour. What do you think, David? Am I using this right? And I'm calling that from this VPVR resistance here, combined with, uh, you know, these... There's like a little bit of confluence here. I'm just kind of like roughly guesstimating what I'm seeing on the candles, like, with, you know, support resistance. You know, I'm basically just eyeballing it. Uh... When the thin line crosses the negative 100 is when I'm out. Okay, so you don't look, you don't like sort of look ahead of time to sort of try to predict. You're just kind of like watching it in real time. See, I don't sit by the charts necessarily. Like I just sort of like, you know, look at the chart, like, you know. But you sit there and watch it and like watch for it to cross the negative 100 and then you get out. Okay, let's look at the like six hour, the eight hour. Just set an alert on trading view. Oh. Oh, you can like set an alert for the indicator for like when the, I didn't even know you could do that. You could set an alert for like when the indicator reaches like a certain level. I've never, I've never done that before. Set alert for when it crosses negative 80, you can go to your computer and set, wow. I've literally never done that before. That's awesome. Thanks for filling me in. So again, it looks like uh, we're going up on the six hour, and here, yeah, I would also roughly call like the sixty five level. Somewhere around there. Um, go to the indicator where there is 200, 0, negative 200 uh, at the Y axis. Click on it. Okay. Um, yep. And then what? Okay, I'm waiting for your next instruction, David.
click on the left of the Y axis. Oh, you're saying, um... Wait, are you sure you meant click on the left of the Y axis? Or do you mean click on the right of the Y axis? Oh, I'm drinking Pellegrino, DV. Nothing alcoholic. Um, nothing happens when I click on this, uh, David. Oh. I mean, that's what I was clicking on. Like, I don't... You're saying click down here, right? I mean, I'm clicking there and nothing's happening, so... But nothing's happening. Something did happen, I just didn't mean it to. Okay, let's look at the eight hour. So basically, you set your alert for like when it gets to 80, and then you get out of the trade. Are these the alerts? So we want it to be crossing value CCI 13 or CCR 14. Wait, I'm getting really confused. Okay. Change his TTM to CCI 14. That's that. And then the value should be 80. Is that right? And then make another one for plus 80. Okay, so one for negative 80 and then one for positive 80. Okay, now I'm getting it.
Okay, David, that's a really helpful suggestion. I really appreciate it. Thank you. And so essentially, like, when it's positive 80, you exit your long, or when it's negative 80, you exit your short. Is that right? Or do you let it go all the way to 100? I'm at a man. Yeah, I'll play with those alerts when I'm off stream because I think that's boring for people. Um, with only 96 calories and 3.2 carbs. When it goes past 100 and you notice it's starting to curl, you want to get out. Um, Numki says, what about fake outs? Good question, Numki. David, can you answer that? Numki, we're learning this new set of indicators, which we learned about on um, Crypto Traders TV's Discord. And I'm going to post the links in my Discord and also on my Twitter. So, David, how would you interpret the daily here based on these indicators? to a dedicated business concierge when you call or message. Get Oscar Healthcare for your business at highoscar.com. You just have to use other type of indicators and make a judgment call. If I see clear indications, I just get out because I don't want to be on the other side. Yeah, I got it. I'm just wondering because MACD RSI can sit at the top or bottom for a long time. Yeah, that's also kind of what my concern is because, like, you know, I feel like anytime you're dealing with like an overbought, oversold thing, um, I don't know, like, you know, when we were in the bull run, it was like overbought for like months, not months, but weeks, weeks. So for this daily, I would wait for CCI 14 to cross zero. So that would be this thinner one, right? You're waiting for it to go here. And I'm going to get back in. You mean you mean re long? And the indication would be for sell buy, even though it's going to continue to go up or down. 50 CCI above zero is a clear confirmation. Yeah. So you're you're waiting for the um, the 14 to cross the 50, is that right? And then you're going to re long. Sorry that I feel like a dunce for like not like completely understanding this immediately. Okay, no the 14 across zero. Okay. And so the 14 is this is this thinner line, right? And you wouldn't say that this hasn't already crossed zero here on the daily? Because it feels like it has. I think it has. Zero is the center between two hundred. Yeah, I mean, because it and, and the 14 is the thinner line, right? And this is zero right here. I feel like it has crossed zero. Oh, so you're waiting for it to recross up. Okay, I didn't understand that. I thought you meant for it to cross down. 
So the minute it recrosses up, then you're going to relaw. Got it. Yeah, like I said, like it's kind of taking me a little bit to like, conceptualize all this. Okay, let's look at the three day. So the three day, it's all stretched out, and I feel like it's it's like not as useful. It's better if you zoom in on the bottom indicator. Wait, zoom in or zoom out? You know what, someone else, like another one of my commenters, tried to get me to pull on the y-axis and like that always messes up my computer, like it, it never goes back to normal, so I actually don't like doing that. <laughs> I hate to say it, but like, I literally, like it messed up my computer so much I literally had to like trash my old TradingView account and get a new TradingView account because I couldn't get it back to normal, so I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> that was fucking JP who did that. I mean, I tried for weeks to like get it back to normal and it would like never go back to normal. So I finally just trashed that old trading view account and got a new one. I think it's something about having a Mac. Like having a Mac just, um, look, auto is pressed at the bottom. Look. It is pressed. Okay, let's look at ETH, because I don't, I'm not gonna, this is not gonna be a long stream tonight, because I'm honestly exhausted. But I really appreciate you guys' help with, um, with helping me to, like, learn this and, and introducing me to this new indicator, because I'm really excited to, like, use it. So what do you make of this on ETH, like, since I'm still learning this indicator? I mean, we may get a little bounce down here, but I think it's going to be short-lived. Like, I think that ETH is in a pretty, like, bearish trend right now. Hi, Oreo. Like, we may bounce, like, here at, like, 4.15 or so. So this, the squid, Austin squid indicator is a lot like the squeeze momentum, isn't it? I just realized that these little pluses are just like the squeeze momentum. How does this work? Um, hi, Uncle Scroat. Yeah, because I'm actually familiar with squeeze momentum, and I actually really like squeeze momentum. Uh, TTM is the same as squeeze momentum. Cool. Okay, that's awesome. Cause like squeeze momentum tells you when like a big move is coming.
Yeah, I, I, I called that ETH was necking, like, uh, two nights ago, and this guy was in here. Uh, DV, this guy was in here. Were you here when this guy was in here? Um, like, literally arguing with me about my call that, like, ETH was necking? And he was like, uh, oh, no, you can clearly see that there's a C-clamp on the Ishimoku cloud, and, uh, you know, you're, he basically just told me I was completely wrong, because he had driven, drawn this, like, bull div that I lit like he showed me his chart and like I literally couldn't even see the bull div that he drew I was like I can't really see what you're talking about I mean I was like granted I don't really trade divs but like I, you know I guess I mean he, he literally like mansplained me so hard I was I kind of was like okay pal like whatever you say like I'm not gonna argue with you like just you know he seemed it was one of those things where like it was clear that he's heavily invested in ETH and he was like he wanted to prove me wrong so hard because like he didn't want ETH to go down, you know? So like he had to like like prove me wrong and like mansplain the shit out of me. Um to the point where then he joined my Discord and was like, um I could, you know, it seems like you got a lot to learn, so like I could send you um some helpful books and videos uh, you know, that would really help you out. And I was sort of like, okay, thanks. You know, like, I was like, what, what are you going to say to that? You know, like, I was just like, okay. And like, here we are. Like, I was completely right. And he was completely wrong. <laughs> this is making me laugh so hard. <laughs> um, I hate to say it, but ETH is still going down, buddy. So sorry about your holdings, but, um, it's still completely going down. So, um, sorry, but I was right. It's even going down on the three day, I hate to say it. Sorry, pal. Hate to burst your bubble, but um, maybe I could send you some helpful books and videos to help you learn how to trade. Maybe I'll woman-splain you, pal. Um, okay, let's look at SC. Saya. Where's the... Uh, Uncle Scroat says it's basically Awesome Oscillator and TTM-ish. What is Awesome Oscillator? I've heard of that, but, um, I don't know much about it. AO calculates the difference of a, of a 34 period and 5 period simple moving averages. The simple moving averages that are used are not calculated using closing price, but rather each bar's midpoints. Um... Had it ready to paste. <laughs> Uncle Scroat, you this is your first time in the stream and you already know me so well? Like that's embarrassing. Um I I've heard of Yeah, you're man pasting, Uncle Scroat. And I don't like it, frankly. I don't like you man pasting in the stream. <laughs> um I've heard of Awesome Oscillator, but like I've never used it. Um Okay, so let's let's try to find let's try to find an exchange that has more price history than Binance on Sciacoin, because this is a pathetic. Um, and then let's try to use Awesome Oscillator and see if we can make sense of it. So you guys can teach it to me. Oh, that's better. Um, okay, first let's look at it with Awesome Squid template. Oh, that's not right. Whoops. Wait, what happened? I did something wrong. Why did the thing come up down at the bottom instead of on the price? That was weird. brother. What a boring stream this is. Ugh.
Okay, I think I need to reinstall the booster. Uh, hang on a sec. Let me grab it from my download section. Where's my downloads? So, it was a pretty entertaining stream. You guys get to see me install a Pine script into TradingView. Oh, you're going to bed? Thank you, David. I really appreciate your help tonight. Um, oh, here it is. Now you're, you know, you're missing the funnest part of the stream, which is uh, watching me reinstall a TradingView script because I, I got it, I entered it in wrong or something, or who knows what I did wrong, honestly. Yeah, it's like, you know, the fun never stops around here. Okay, so now anybody who's wondering how to do this, you guys get to watch me do it live. So you click on your Pine Editor here, which is this button right here. You erase whatever you find here, which is this. You paste uh, the text of the script in. You save it as it came up as re-roostered booter. Press save. Uh, to minimize that. Hopefully this will come up under uh, my scripts here. Let's see. Okay, much better. So first we have to save the template. Sorry about that guys, that was annoying. Okay, so Sciacoin, uh, a lot of people I know, think this is about to pop off, and I do too. This is actually, I just heard, have been hearing about this like on Twitter and on Discords and stuff. And um, this is the, actually the first time I pulled the chart up. But like, this is a nice looking parabola here on the four hour. It's resting on support. It's kind of doing these fake out little test pumps here. I'm not familiar enough with these with this new script to like be able to like read this very well here. Let's see if we can like, I mean this is like green dots so like that's good right? Here. And anybody jump in and tell me like what they're seeing here. But I feel like this looks pretty bullish to me. Um, let's look at some of my other in, uh, templates. Oh let's look at the bottom finder. Save big at Target's baby sale now through July 14th. It's the perfect time to head into your local Target store and stock up on baby must-haves, like diapers and wipes. Plus, it's a great time to pick up those, oh my gosh, they're so cute, I need them items. Yo, what's going on? It's Youngblood. Click the banner yeah, I'd say this is pretty bullish to me. I'd say let's grab us some Sciacorn. On July 20th. To mama. Let's get the party started. She's the wicked witch of the west. I'm leaving that out of the bio. How can I resist you? This whole place is awesome. Hi there. What kind of hiding this is? It's making the parabola Something here. Else. Miraculous. <laughs> can I check EOS BTC? Yes, uh, we'll do that next. Uh, Tickets available now. Dirty carpets don't keep a schedule. You do. That's why the home are you trading? Are you like holding that, or are you on leverage on that? Cleaner, uh, all. Over forty dollars off. It's quick. Let me just finish with the Sia coin, and then we'll look at it. Time to less than forty-five minutes. If you have a schedule to keep, you don't want to sit around waiting on a wet carpet. The Hoover Power Scrub is just one forty-eight only at the Home Depot. Home yeah, I'd say Sia coin is um pretty bullish here. I think.
Oh, you're on leverage. Okay, so um, do you mind telling, you know, you don't have to say like what size you're in, but like um, what's your leverage? Um, you know, are you at like 10x or 20x or um, and what, what was your entry? And if you don't feel comfortable re revealing that, um, it's okay. But don't worry, I don't think there's any like whales watching this to like stop hunt people's EOS positions. What is, I'll, I'll do the mechs chart since you're on mechs. What is the uh, mechs chart? Here we go. So you're longing it, right, dude? Oh, you, d you don't have to tell me how many contracts you have. You know, generally our rule is, um, not just in my stream, but just in sort of crypto in general, you know, um, the, the sort of general rule is we don't talk about size, meaning um, you don't want to paint a target on your back. Like you don't want to say like, oh, I just made a million dollars because um, it's just a good rule of thumb. Um, you know, for one thing it's tacky, you know, but second of all, um, uh, yeah, like, DV right here, Candy Treasure, is literally sitting in Spain, like, looking to, uh, liquidate you, cause, cause you just, you know, cause now we know what your, your lick price is. Just kidding, um, you know, we have a, a small and friendly community right here, um, we're not gonna liquidate you. Um, <laughs> and to be fair, I did ask him what his, uh, what his entry was, um, Okay, let's figure out if you're going to be okay here. Uh, if I donate you money, well, can I double it within a week? Um, yeah, I probably could, but I would keep it. So, <laughs> so I don't know if... Yeah, feel free to donate me money, but um, I would just keep it. So, um, I don't know if that's a good deal for you. Um, okay, your entry was 11811 and your lick is 9565. Let me look at a smaller time frame. I'm running away from this pain. I'm trying you have to stop in place, right, dude? Where the sun shining down on my face. Yeah, I think you're going to be I'm fine, actually, away. Grub. Um, you're in a time. Not only do I think you're going to be fine, I think you're going to make some money on this thing. I think it's a risky trade, don't get me wrong, especially across. Um, no, I would not be willing to give to give it back. Um, my time is worth more than that, honestly. <laughs> yeah, it's not worth my time to like be like, you know, trading like that. So we've got three red candles here, one of which is, is like a hammer. Um, I think you're going to be fine, because usually after three red, those are called three red crows, and usually you get a reversal after that, and it's like well outside of the Bali on the, on the one hour. We've got the Stoch bottoming out here. Uh, well, there's a premium on BitMEX, you know. I think there will be a bounce if we look at the four hour. Okay, let's look at the four hour candle. Yeah, we've got the three red crows on the four hour as well. Stoch is bottomed out. And we're about to cross in the MACD. Let's look at a few more uh, indicators. Wonder why VWAP isn't coming up on this. 
Maybe it's not available for the Bitmax chart. It's weird. Hey, uh, the young tot, you can learn how to trade just by watching streams like this, and then you can, you can make, you know, you can double your money eventually. And it probably won't take that long either. Yeah, I mean, I would say, like, watch it, like, you know, have a tight stop, like, don't fall asleep on it. Um, but I think you're going to be okay. I think you're going to get out. Yeah, you can learn to trade pretty fast, the young tot. Like, I know it seems intimidating, but like, just keep watching streams like this and you'll learn. Yeah, but I would say, like, get out and get your, like, you know, you know, hit your target and then, like, be happy. <laughs> you know, like, don't, like, this EOS trade isn't, like, a long-term hold, you know what I mean? Does that make sense? Like, holding EOS on max on cross is not going to make you rich. That's what I'm trying to say. Um... But you'll, you'll, you, you should be able to get, like, a, a bounce out of it, I think. Okay. I think that, I think that's enough streaming for, for one night. Um, thank you guys so much for joining me. Um, you're lovely. And, um... Yeah, FMF. I'll have to, my obligatory FMF met, and mention of the night, which is my investment and in, in DV Candy Treasures investment. Um, it's a crypto bank out of Taiwan. Uh, <laughs> EOS Connect. No, FMF is a for, Formosa Financial. It's a crypto bank out of Taiwan that we're both heavily invested in. Um, it's providing treasury services to crypto corporations like fiat on ramping, custodial services. And um, it's in league with Taiwanese politicians, and they're trying to make it um, like like Taiwan, like blockchain island, um, you know. And and FM and Formosa Financial is going to be like like blockchain island's crypto bank. So uh, we're pretty psyched. Um, okay, I think that's it for the stream. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you tomorrow night. Uh, bye. <laughs>